Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. One is greater than none. <laughs> One is greater than none. We were 13 and 14 years old, all in eighth grade. And we thought it'd be fun to start a charity with our friends, so we just went for it. And now three years later, we're still here going for it. <laughs> we are selling all our jewelry that we handmade, and we're also selling our really cute t-shirts, and hopefully spreading the word and telling everyone about our charity, One is Greater Than None. When we first saw the Oprah episode that was about the enslaved children in Ghana, we found out that $4,300 would sponsor one child. And at first we were like, well, what happens if we only save one child? And we were like, well, saving one child is better than saving no children at all. And then on top of that, it's just like donating one dollar is better than donating no money or making one contribution makes a big difference. We had a meeting with our parents and like we signed contracts that we would stay in the charity and try and raise money. And our parents were like, yeah, okay, like this is a fun little project, like don't try and quit it. And meanwhile, we've gotten so far today, almost three years later, so it's been pretty crazy. When they decided to have their first meeting to make it official, I remember being there with some of the other moms and they're going on and on about Ghana and these children and maybe one day visiting Africa and I remember turning to um, one of the other moms, uh, Marsha, who's Sammy Malice's mom and saying, are these girls out of their minds? Like, do they really think that, you know, they can do this? And, but they did and they never lost hope. They just believed, they were very determined and this is the result. When our girls were 10 or 11, I think as parents we were concerned what children or young women were thinking were important or relevant, which were very materialistic and very shallow and very scary and kind of uh, disturbing. So I think that what our influence was trying to steer them away from that and that there were other options of what kind of person you wanted to be or what kind of woman you wanted to become. So I think that not so much that we were doing charity work, but just kind of saying, I, you need to look in the mirror and what are your values and who are you going to be as a person. It really is inspiring that these girls are so young and already working towards such a strong goal. And I just only hope that people that see them here at the mall and, um, and come and see what their organization is about or are as touched by them as we are by them here at the mall at Roosevelt Fields. Kayla is very good at like doing all these bracelets and stuff, so she's really she really helps us. So I mean, I think and it has been like a group effort though. People look yeah. at how simple the jewelry is because it it really is simple, but it took so long to get to that point, and we're really proud yeah. of our products. We kind of have jewelry parties sometimes, you know, like an assembly line and make them all together, and then or we go home and we we have like quotas, so we know how many to make and just make them for the week. these children like I have a sister their age so I was like I have to do something I can't just sit in my bum and not do anything at all like, I have to save these children we've rescued 24 and we sponsored another 24 so far we pretty much saved 48 children um, well we sent the $4,300 to the International Organization for Migration which is also called the IOM and they take the money and they use it for a bunch of different things for one child they go and they take the children out of captivity and they provide them with food, shelter, education, like all the things that they can possibly need to like live a happy life. We've also been to a bunch of schools all over Long Island to try to like talk to them and inspire them to do whatever they want. And we also sell our jewelry there too. They came to our school on Wellness Day and they talked about how what they how they started like their charity. Charity. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and I thought it was really good, so my, I told my mom and she bought it. She bought a T-shirt for me for Hanukkah. Actually, after they came to our school and after we had the assembly um, for them, we, um, me, my friend actually told me that she, she it, it like encouraged her, to, and she actually said that she wanted to do something like that. Wait, I'm about to cry. This is amazing. This is like the generation that like we want to touch and that that can change the world. And the fact that someone was touched by what we were doing, it feels amazing. <laughs> like you mean so much. Thank you. I actually just got home.
home from vacation, I had nothing in my drawers. <laughs> and I, and I, I was wearing, I just put on a t-shirt. So I, oh, thank you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, Madam Pear, woo! Everyone likes to guess like yeah. which one is us. That's Haley, that's Sammy, that's Jessica, Chelsea, there's another Sammy, Kayla, me, Ariel, and then that is, that's Annie. <laughs> I play Logan on Zoe, Logan Reese on Nickelodeon Zoe 101. If we had hundreds of thousands, if not millions of more, gorgeous, obviously, <laughs> but people that did things just as amazing as you girls do every day, I mean, this world would be such, such a better place. Fetched. Not at all. No. Nope. We're even in shock still, so we're pretty impressed with these girls and we live with them. 